Airlines are bracing for another travel surge this holiday weekend. Passengers hope they don't get stranded. Transportation Department ordered airlines to do better for their passengers. But the pilots union at Fort Worth based American Airlines says the staffing shortage is still a crisis. Fox was Alex Boyer live with the update. Alex. Hi, Clarice, that's right. You know, the U.S. Transportation Department released an interactive dashboard today ahead of what is expected to be a busy holiday travel weekend. Now, what that does is it allows passengers to compare the different compensation that airlines are providing to passengers who are possibly delayed or have their flights canceled over the weekend. Some airline passengers are getting a jump start on the Labor Day weekend, trying to avoid any flight disruptions that could leave them stranded over the busy travel period. I mean, I've flown four million miles in my life, so I've got this down. The FAA is warning that flight disruptions will likely continue through the end of the year due to a combination of labor shortages and pent-up travel demand. All it takes is one thing, though, and the whole system comes crumbling down. Thursday morning, hundreds of off-duty American Airlines pilots picketed outside the carrier's corporate headquarters in Fort Worth. They lined the sidewalk with signs complaining about their ongoing contract negotiations and overly ambitious flight schedules the union president says is putting customers at risk of being grounded. American Airlines has sold tickets for a service they realistically cannot provide. U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is cracking down on the issue with all major airlines. He's demanding meal and room accommodations be provided for passengers who experience delays or cancellations. Several major U.S. airlines, including American and Dallas-based Southwest Airlines, have agreed when disruptions are within their control. The move met with praise from passengers we talked to. And I have found more often than not, the airlines will compensate you in some way whatsoever. Several U.S. airlines have updated their customer service policies, stating that they would provide meals for customers delayed by three hours and hotel rooms for stranded passengers. Weather-related problems do not qualify. According to the TSA, surging travel numbers seem to be almost matching 2019 numbers every day, leaving any stranded passenger this weekend with few options. They're running so high on the load factor that there's no other flights you can go to. So it has become kind of, kind of a crapshoot. And keep in mind that some of the budget carriers are offering a less incentives and compensation should there be a delay or cancellation to your flight. I'm also told by the FAA that some major airports are actually having to cap the number of passengers departing daily in an effort to minimize those delays.